Hey there, I'm Thomas from Real Guitar. Have you ever wondered how long will it take to get good at guitar? Well, if you have, you're in the right place. That's exactly what we're going to talk about. Let's do this. Over the years, I've had many students ask me some version of this question. Now, my first impulse is to say, well, that's not the best question to ask. There are so many variables, and not the least of which is everybody has a different idea of what good is. But I stop myself. They already know that. And I do get it. It's human nature to want to know what you're getting into and what to expect. And I also realize this question is not so much about needing to know exactly how long it'll take to get good, but it's asking for some kind of validation. Students want to know if this is something they can actually do and that the effort will be worth it. With that in mind, I've come up with a rough timeline of what to expect. It goes without saying that everyone's different, but I think you'll find it useful to know what others have experienced that have gone through this process and that it's very doable. I gathered my experience from 40 plus years of teaching and also for most of that time I was the director of my own music school with 30 plus instructors. So I got a chance to see a lot of students and how they progress. Usually I find somewhere between three and six months is the place where a student feels like they can play something they feel good about, something that reflects the learning they've done so far. Now, of course, I'm assuming that they've been practicing as well. This is also about the place where the student realizes maybe it's not as easy as I thought. And we, of course, lose some people right about there. Though it seems like the excitement of learning something new is carrying as many people as we lose. The next stage, which I'll call advanced beginner for lack of a better word, is usually somewhere between six months to a year. And of course, this could vary quite a bit depending on your practice and how well and how much you're practicing. Now, many students experience kind of a slow down their progress right about now, or sometimes they feel like they're in a rut. And this is completely common. I think it's caused by a couple of things. One is that they're just more picky about their playing. And at the same time, the stuff they're working on is usually a little more complex. So it actually takes a little longer. That and the excitement of learning something new is probably wearing thin about now. Now, that doesn't mean you're not progressing at this point. It just means you don't feel like you're progressing. And of course, this is a place where a lot of students quit also. Those who do hang in there are usually rewarded by another growth spurt in the next stage. Now, the next stage is usually between a year and two years. I'll call it intermediate. Now, if you haven't already quit, this is the place where you kind of realize you just need to buckle down and keep doing the same thing. Put your nose to the grindstone. This is also the place where most people realize it's kind of fruitless asking how long will this take. If you've been practicing regularly, you've got some skills now, though it's likely you don't really realize how much you've actually progressed. You're probably pretty good at playing open chords, switching between them smoothly, and in general, feeling comfortable getting around the guitar. You could probably play some bar chords, though a lot of people at this stage still could use some improvement on them. And you're also probably painfully aware of how much more there is to learn and your own shortcomings. The next stage is usually between two and five years. There's a big range there. And we'll call it advanced intermediate. I'm hesitant to call someone advanced because, you know, you could be advanced at five years or advanced at 30 years. And it's a big range. This is about the time you probably wonder, why did I ever think bar chords were difficult? And you have a good repertoire of chords and strums and you can switch between them easily. And if you enjoy playing songs, you probably have a good little repertoire of songs. Though, if you're anything like me, you probably forget some of the earlier songs you learn and have to go back and review sometimes. You probably feel comfortable, or at least you're willing to play in front of other people. And if you like improvising or jamming, you're probably having a great time either jamming with backing tracks or with other people. At this stage, I often hear things like, I learned everything that I'm playing now in the first year, but it didn't sound good until now. And you still probably know more in your head than you can actually put into practice. This is one of the things with adults. We can usually think things out faster than we can actually put into practice. 
This does create a little bit of ongoing kind of tension, but it works itself out over time with experience. At this point, you probably also have a good sense of what it's going to take for you to learn what you want to learn next and how much effort you need to put into it. This is often where the student will have a shift from constantly wanting to learn new things to settling in on working on the things they know and improving them. They also realize the value of learning the basics well and developing good foundation skills. If you were just starting out and could look into the future and see where you are now, you'd probably think, wow, that's what it means to be good. But things change. Now you're here and you know what's possible and you can see all the things you'd like to learn that you don't know yet. So that makes like kind of hard to say I'm good or at least when you say that it doesn't fully ring true. But the good news is at this stage you also kind of lose interest in deciding if you're good or not. You've come to realize that learning and practicing is it's just a way of life. It's not a goal to get to. And this learning and practicing becomes enjoyable in and of itself. At the same time, you still look forward to the new things you're gonna learn and the new music that you're gonna make. Now, getting a year older also means getting a year better. And this guitar journey has added a whole new dimension to your life. So that's the basic timeline. I mentioned that how long until I get good may not be the best question to ask. I've learned over the years that the questions that you ask can direct your focus and your energy. I think I first heard this from Tony Robbins, the famous motivational speaker. But I've come to see the value in my own life. Asking better questions is one good way to get better results. So asking how long until I get good actually shifts your focus from things that you could be doing to actually become a better guitar player. The amount of time that you've been playing in terms of days, months, or years doesn't actually say anything about your progress. The actual number of hours of practice would probably be a better guide, but that still doesn't take into account your natural ability, how you're actually practicing, and your idea of what good means. I also think that this question kind of naturally leads to comparing yourself to others, or at least comparing yourself to some standard that may or may not apply to you. So you might be asking, what is a better question? Well, I'd love to hear you come up with better questions, and I'm thinking of something that would actually inspire action, or something that might help you progress faster or better, or at least enjoy the process more. One question that comes to my mind in the early stages would be, Gee, what's the best way to do this? What's the best way to learn guitar in the way that I want to play? Another one would be, how can I make the most efficient use of my practice time so I get the most progress for the amount of time I have? And maybe even a question like, how could I have more fun with learning guitar? Or how can I make sure that I follow through on my commitments to practice and, and to get to where I want to go with this? So we can all learn from each other I'd really love to hear what you have in mind as a better question or questions. And you can write those in the comments section below. That's it for now. I hope you got some value out of this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you're not sure where you should be spending your time to get the fastest results, visit my website and download my free guitar success checklist. I'll have you answer a few questions first. Then I'll get you a personalized report with recommendations on how you can spend your time in the best way possible to make the fastest focused progress on your guitar playing. Click the link below in the description or you can visit my website directly at www.thomasmichaud.com. And that's Thomas with no age. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye for now.